Due to recent run of poor performances, KZ Chiefs have released Mulifin Tsegi as the head coach. We expected this the whole day and it's finally here. KZ Chiefs have fired Mulifin Tsegi and have not reshuffled the cabinet. No, he's not move to another position within the club he's gone gone and you understand there was a lot of bad blood because three bad incidents of him being like chased away from the stadiums and you take a look at the position that he occupied before it's already taken we're going to talk about that later on in this video and we're going to talk about who's replacing him and what is actually going to happen with the rest of the technical team Hello and welcome to Kusi Nation Fan TV. I am Pilo, I am your host and this, this is our fans meet and talk about KZ Chiefs. I'm a Kusi Football Club. When that whistle was gone against Amazulu, brr, 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 I knew, I knew that Nsegi was gone. I knew that Nsegi was gone because one, the fans were never going to react nicely to that. We're out of two cups, even the management was like, two cups were out of that. We're not doing well in the league. This man's got to go. And then they decided that the man indeed has to go. And obviously, even if Kaiser Chiefs wanted to be stubborn and do the things that they usually do, which is we don't fire a coach after the first few months is around. But the performances were just too bad. Even Zwane last season, we can say he didn't do well. But beginning of the season, there were some things here and there that we're seeing that we might be doing something. Hey, wait a minute. And then it was just bad. Winter it was like bad. And then it was just a bit good. And then it was bad. It was just, there was no saving him. So it's a good decision. It's a good decision. But we should have never gotten to a point where we were making a decision of firing Blifin's egg. Because he was never supposed to be hired in the first place. I said over there, talking about how we're mourning the appointment of Mlifin Segi. Had w never won anything in his career. And you're asking him to come and coach the biggest club in South African football. Are you mad? Kaiser Chiefs is even bigger than Bafana Bafana. Which I don't even like to say because Bafana Bafana should be bigger than anything in the country. But anyways, Kaiser Chiefs is bigger than anything in South Africa when it comes to football. And yet you're giving that club a coach who hasn't won anything in his career. And this club hasn't won anything in eight years. It was just ridiculous. And now they have corrected that decision. But if we're being honest, they didn't have a choice. Right? They didn't have a choice. If they kept Nsegi, the fans were going to invade the stadium. Said Pumalanga Stadium. Or wherever the Chiefs will be playing with fans again. So they didn't have a choice and they've been forced to make this decision. And I hope... Now that we are transitioning to his replacement, with Kevin Johnson being appointed as the head coach in the interim, which means not permanently, in the interim he's becoming the head coach, which would mean to me they are now going back to that process of looking at the coaches again and looking at who will fit Chiefs and not just someone who will fit Chiefs, but also at the same time someone who has won something because we don't want this thing of trial and error thing. We are done with that. We want someone who's a proven winner. If I sit any case a Chiefs fan here next to me right now and I ask you, who would you rather have? A coach who's going to win you something or a coach who's going to play beautiful football? I tell you now, a lot of you will say, you want to win. So Chiefs, if they go out there, they go get Nazreddin Nabi. People have been saying, ah, he also plays Makita Spigani. But at the end of the day, won't back-to-back -back trebles with Young. So if he comes to Chiefs and he wins, people will not be complaining about the kind of football. Well, after he wins the first cup, the second cup, and then maybe in the second season. But at the time, the team will have been, will have gotten back to playing with confidence. And in that way, you may now start implementing playing good football. Because right now, what the fans want more than anything is to see the club lift silver away. And we're not going to do that with Unsegi because now he wasn't sure where he wanted to start. So, with Kevin Johnson coming in, I have my own issues with him. Not as a coach, but with Kaiser Chiefs themselves, with how they appointed him. Because when Chiefs started playing bad, all of a sudden, I remember we're in Polo Kwane playing against Super Sports. And then fans were throwing things at the stadiums, uh, stadium as well. And Bob was saying, we hear you. The next thing we know, the following morning, they announced that Kevin Johnson has been appointed as youth what, 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 what. I'm like, huh, it's a coincidental that this man is hired to be in the youth ranks while Nsegi is playing bad. 
And then the assumption was that he's going to take over from Zeke. And then we said, no, it's not going to happen. And it has happened. Even I thought it wasn't going to happen. But here we are. It has happened. He has replaced him. Maybe this was their plan all along, which I think is a horrible thing to do because if you are not decide to hire a coach, just hire him. Don't say, let's start by integrating you into the team. If we want you to come and be our head coach, let's do that. Let's not go around the bush and beat around the bush. No, let's go straight and do what we're doing because we're not idiots. We are watching what the management is doing and we can see what's okay. Now they are setting up the pieces such that when this fails, this person is next in line. Which, by the way, has to do with what I'm about to talk about next. But before that, please do make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Those two things, guys, they help me to reach more people like you. So please, just like the video. Like, it's just clicking the like. And then that's it. That's all I need. Thank you very much. Because we go to the next person, which is Atazwane. Atazwane, we don't say he's fired, fired, like gone. But with Atazwane, he's, they're saying this. Let me read it. Uh, he's moved to his former role in the development structures. And to me, that says two things. In the development, there is Vela Kumalo coaching there, which means Calvin Johnson has vacated his role, which means one is going back to that role. They are basically kind of swapping roles, and we don't know who's going to be head of technical right now because that space was left by Nsege and no one ever filled that position. So now it means either one of the two things. It's either Zwane is now head of technical or Zwane is back to being in the position that Nsege was in, which is... Uh, not saying Kevin Johnson was in, which is youth structures, development and scouting and all of that stuff, which he was good at discovering talent. But I will tell you why I think this is a bad idea. It's a bad idea because for me personally, yes, Zwane, they were not going to fire him because he still has a full year in his contract remaining. In fact, it's a year and a half remaining in his contract. So it would have cost much more to release him. But remember, we don't say yeah, now, if I checked, contract Tiagavel was coming near to the end next year. So it was a risk that they could afford to take that if they fire him, they wouldn't have to pay him a lot of money because his contract was nearing the end. But with one, it's still 18 months for him. So if you think about it, it makes sense for them financially. But for Zwane himself and for us as fans, we're looking at this and we're thinking they are keeping Zwane within the club because what they want is if they fire Kevin Johnson, then they will take Zwane and make him head coach again in the interim. And maybe the team is now playing with confidence and then Zwane takes the team. And then the hope is that he takes the team when the team now has better players, which they do now, and then he takes them to the next level. That's apparently their hope, the way that I see it. Because now I see them, it's like they are playing chess with, with Zwane because they do want to see him being head coach of Chiefs. It's just that the situation doesn't work. Which is precisely why I think from this moment forth, Kaiser Chiefs, if they really want him to coach our team, they should try and find him teams away from South Africa or even here in South Africa so that he can coach, win things there, and then he can be reappointed and then it will be this romantic and nice things that makes us form, feel warm and fuzzy in our tum-tums. Because if they do that, then he goes out, he gets experience, he wins something, then he can come back to achieve justifiably so. But right now, if you're keeping him in development and something doesn't work with Kevin Johnson, people are still going to blame Zwan and say, oh, Zwan is still there. Why is Zwan still there? He's the one who's been sabotaging coaches and all of that stuff. So I would rather when Zwan's contract ends, they don't even try to extend it. But he goes out and he actually coaches another team and tries to win to win some other things even if he goes to the develop not the development he goes to Mutsepe foundation and coaches the team there and brings them up and gets them promoted and then he plays them gets them a top eight then we can see oh this is what Zwan is doing in say whatever team that he can bring back up but to just take case of chips it's not gonna be good for his growth for his pocket maybe it might be good because his future is secured but i do think that going out might help Uzwan. Speaking of people going out, well, this one is actually not going anywhere, which is Dylan Shepard, who's going to stay and be Kevin Johnson's assistant coach. Give me your own thoughts about this whole thing down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, remember, equals Alpelumoy.